Minnesota boasts a rich and unique terrain, as well as a fascinating history that is likely to intrigue visitors. From the origin of the Mississippi River at Lake Itasca to the distinctive Midwestern charm of the Twin Cities, Minnesota is a quaint state with a regional dialect, beautiful lakes, flea markets, an adventurous attitude, and unrestricted access to nature. It hosts outdoor winter concerts as well as renaissance festivals in the summer. Minnesota is more than a land of 10,000 lakes. There are countless activities to do there. Whether you choose to meander down hiking trails, paddle on waterways, ski down mountains, or shop at the Mall of America. Take a look at Minnesota's top 10 most stunning and best places to visit. Number 10. Grand Portridge. Grand Portridge, which is located at the very tip of Minnesota's Arrowhead, is open all year round, is home to High Falls, the state's largest waterfall, measuring in at 120 feet high. Grand Portridge gives unrestricted access to seemingly endless routes for nature lovers, whether they like to travel by snowmobile in the winter or by bicycle in the warmer summer months. These paths lead through picturesque forests and shorelines. Other attractions include the Grand Portridge Lodge and Casino, which features gaming tables, slot machines, a selection of eateries, and a diverse calendar of live entertainment and entertaining performances depending on the season. Number 9. Pipestone National Monument The Pipestone National Monument, a sacred place for Native American tribes, provides rare chance to learn about the tall grass prairie's culture and natural resources. The 1.4 mile loop trail, which is open all year long, is the best way to explore the area. You can learn about the amenities, policies, and operating hours at the Visitor Center before beginning your tour of the Pipestone National Monument. You will have the opportunity to participate in Native American Pipestone carving demonstrations if you have scheduled your trip between May and October. During your trip, you'll see remnants of the tall grass prairie, the Pipestone Quarry, a spectacular waterfall, and natural rock formations. Number 8. Mall of America There's a good possibility that you've heard about the Mall of America if you intend to travel to Minnesota. Mall of America is no ordinary mall since it's one of the largest in the country. It opened in 1992 and contains more than 500 stores, as well as a large number of dining options. In addition, there are theaters, hotels, and several amusement parks. Possibly the main attraction of Mall of America is the number of celebrations that take place there every year. It's known for hosting over 400 events a year. That's more than the number of days in a year. The Mall of America is like a small town of its own. Mall of America should top your list of the best places to visit in Minnesota if you love shopping. Number 7. Grand Marais Grand Marais is a Minnesotan coastal city in Cook County. This tiny town has a population of 1,492 at the 2010 census. It was initially given that name in honor of Francois-Xavier Martin de Hestrel, a French aristocrat who had a vast holdings in North America during the French regime. The nicest thing about Grand Marais is its abundance of outdoor activities and recreation options, including the beautiful lakes that are excellent for skiing, snowmobiling, fishing, and other outdoor activities. If you're planning to travel to Grand Marais, make sure to stop by Ardis Point to admire the lake's unspoiled beauty. 
with its fantastic antique stores, craft breweries, and traditional Minnesotan restaurants, the town has a lot to offer. Number 6. St. Paul A trip to Minnesota wouldn't be complete without seeing St. Paul, the state's capital. The city is adjacent to Minneapolis, and together they form one big metropolitan area known as the Twin Cities. With the exception of the Renaissance-style Minnesota state capitol building, the Landmark Center is one of St. Paul's most recognizable buildings. The Landmark Center, which resembles a castle and was originally intended to be a federal courthouse and a post office, today houses eccentric galleries and sculptures. The Wabasha Street Caves are another must-see attraction. These magnificent sandstone caves are located nearby and were originally used as speakeasies. Number 5. Voyagers National Park Voyagers National Park is located outside International Falls and close to the Canadian border. Lake Kabetogama and Rainy Lake are two of the lakes that surround the park. Miles of pure, untamed seashore as well as numerous tiny deserted islands can be found in Voyagers National Park. Even during the busy summer months, you can easily get away from the crowds in this ideal location for exploring the great outdoors. A major lure is more than 50 miles of hiking trails, and hiking can let you observe some of the local species. The eastern timber wolf population in the park is well known, but you can also see bald eagles, otters, and even the occasional moose there. Number 4. Itasca State Park Itasca State Park is without a doubt among the nicest state parks in Minnesota and is also the state's oldest. The 2,000-acre Wilderness Sanctuary, one of Minnesota's seven national natural landmarks and one of the park's many must-see attractions. The historic Douglas Lodge or cabins give the opportunity to sleep under the stars. Itasca State Park offers visitors the chance to cross the Mississippi River at the beginning of its enormous, winding journey through America. It's truly a unique, amazing, once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 3. Duluth Duluth, the second largest city on the beaches of Lake Superior, is a must-see for everyone visiting Minnesota for the first time. In addition to housing the world's largest freshwater baymouth bar, Duluth is also home to the only all-freshwater aquarium in North America. Duluth is a great place to start the North Shore Scenic Drive in Minnesota, and the aerial lift bridge is a surprisingly captivating sight to see while there. Popular tourist destinations including the historic Congdon Estate and Leif Erikson Park and Rose Garden are all located within the city itself. Other notable attractions include the Lake Superior Maritime Visitor Center and Glensheen. Number 2. Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness is among the most picturesque areas to visit in Minnesota and is the most popular wilderness in the country. The various lakes of the wilderness, which include a dozen hiking paths and more than 2,000 designated campsites, are perfect for canoeing and fishing. There are no roads or buildings nearby only natural features in big bodies of water for kayaking nearby. 
In the park's more than a million acres of land, you can find black bears, bobcats, deer, wolves, and Canada lynx. In Minnesota, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness undoubtedly offers the best wilderness experience. Number 1. Minneapolis Minneapolis, one of Minnesota's most well-known cities for city living, is situated in the middle of the Twin Cities. Many of the city's top attractions can be found in the downtown area, including Minnesota's top shopping district, Nicolette Mall, amazing neighborhoods like North Loop Numerous Lakes, countless stadiums for professional sports, great restaurants, and perennially underrated museums like the Minneapolis Institute of Art. If you enjoy modern art, stop by the Walker Art Center to see some contemporary exhibitions. The Stone Arch Bridge and the Fauché Tower are just two of the places in Minneapolis that are listed on the National Register of Historic Places that you should see while you're there. You can take one of the many guided tours to explore the city's top tourist attractions and historical sites. Minnesota, often known as the land of 10,000 lakes, the North Star State, the Gopher State, and the State of Hockey has some of the most breathtaking and amazing destinations to see. It offers the perfect blend of outdoor attractions for a fun adventure in nature and entertaining tourist hotspots. We hope you enjoyed top 10 lists in this video. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Check out our other travel video for more great trip ideas.